Today, we are going to create this smooth slide transition inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I will also be sharing project files in a community post, but it will be available for the channel members only. So, if you are interested, you can get it just in 29 rupees. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so here I am on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, I have already added a bunch of clips and also arranged them like this. So, before you follow me, make sure to do that. And also, I am using 60 frames per second composition, but if you want, you can choose whatever you like. Okay, now let's create our first animation. So, click on this fusion page icon to open it and on certain fusion you will have something like this now in order to create this slide transition we need to use the transform node so go to this tools per section and here you will see this transform node click to add it now make sure that you are at frame 0 then go to inspector and add a keyframe for this center xy then go to end up your composition and double click on this x box then change the value to point 0.1 click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this okay now open the spline tab and select this transform box click on the zoom to fit icon now select the keyframes then press S on your keyboard. Now follow me. Click on the stop handle and drag it like this and take this bottom handle and move it like this. Now you can keep them little bit closer to make it faster. Okay. Now what you're going to do is go to inspector and you'll see this edges section. Click here and change the edges to mirror. Now open the settings tab and from there take the motion blur and increase the quality to all the way up and also increase the shutter angle to all the way up. Now if you want, you can double click on this quality box and change it to something like 20, 30 or 50, whatever you like, okay? And also you can change the shutter angle to something like 720, but I am going to keep it as it is, alright? Now if I go to frame 0 and double click here, then play it, you will see it have something like this, okay? Now let's continue. So open the edit page and place the playback head on top of this second clip. Click on this fusion page icon to open it. And for this one, we are going to create this slide in transition. So for that, add your transform node, go to frame 0. Now move to inspector and add a keyframe for this center xy. Now go to end of your composition and add another keyframe. Now go back to frame 0 by clicking on this mini arrow and double click on this x box and change the value to 1. Click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Okay. Now click on the zoom to fit icon, select the keyframes, press S on your keyboard and just follow me. Take this bottom handle and move it upwards like this and take this top handle and drag it like this. So let's keep them a little bit closer. So I will take this bottom handle a little bit and try to move it upwards. So like this. Okay. Now also let's change the edges to mirror. So click here and change it to mirror and go to the settings tab. Click here on this motion blur. Increase the color to all the way up and increase the shutter angle to all the way up. Now if I double click here and play it, you will see we'll have something like this. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to create another transition. So click on this transform one node and add another transform node. Now go to frame zero and add a keyframe for the center xy. Now go to end up your composition. And this time we're going to change the y value. So double click on this y box and change the value to one. Click here once to apply the changes and it will move upwards. Okay. Now let's deselect this transform one node and click on the zoom to fit icon. Select the keyframes and press S on your keyboard. Now for this one, click on the stop handle and drag it like this. Take this bottom handle and move it like this. Let's click here and try to move them a little bit closer. Okay. And also change the edges to mirror. Then go to this settings tab and click on this motion blur. Increase the quality to all the way up and also increase the shutter angle to all the way up. Now if I go to frame 0, double click here and play it, you'll see it'll have something like this. Now let's continue. So go to edit page and move the playback on top of this third clip and open it in the fusion page. Okay, so for this one, we need to create this slide up transition. So add a transform node, then go to frame 0 and add a keyframe for the center xy. Now go to end up your composition and add another keyframe. Now go back to frame 0 by clicking on this mini arrow and then double click on this y box and change the value to 0.1. Click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this. Okay, now click on the zoom to fit icon, select the keyframes and then press S on your keyboard. Now take this bottom handle and move it like this. Take the stop handle and move it like this. Let's keep them a little bit closer. I will click here and try to move it upwards. Okay. Now let's change the edges to mirror. And also click on the settings icon and take the motion blur. Increase the quality to all the way up. And also increase the shutter angle to all the way up. Now for this one as well, we need to create another transition to make it seamless. So with this transform node selected, add another transform node. Then go to inspector and add a keyframe for this center xy. Then go to end of your composition and for this one what I'm going to do is double click on this Y box and change the value to 0.1. Let's click here and it will move downwards. Okay. Now let's deselect this transform one node and click on the zoom to fit icon once again. Select the keyframes then press S on your keyboard and take this top handle and drag it like this. Take this bottom handle and move it like this. Then click on this edges section and enable the mirror edges and also go to settings tab. 
click on this motion blur increase the quality to all the way up and also increase the shutter angle to all the way up now let's go to edit page now move the playback head on top of this fourth clip then open it in the fusion page now for this one we need to create the slight down transition so for that add a transform node then go to frame 0 now move to inspector and add a keyframe for this center xy go to the end of your composition add another keyframe then go to beginning double click on this y box and change the value to 1 click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this okay now let's click on the zoom to fit icon select the keyframes then press s on your keyboard now take this bottom handle and move it upwards like this take this top handle and move it like this let's go to this edges section and change it to mirror and also let's click on the settings tab and take the motion blur increase the quality to all the way up and also increase the shutter angle to all the way up now just like before we need to add another transform node so add a transform node then make sure that you are at frame 0 and at this point add a keyframe for the center xy then go to end of your composition and for this one we are going to double click on this x box and change it to 1 click here to apply the changes simply deselect this transform 1 node and select the keyframes press s on your keyboard take this top handle and move it like this and also take this bottom handle and move it like this now let's change the edges to mirror and also go to the settings tab tick the motion blur change the quality to all the way up also change the shutter angle to all the way up now let's go to edit page and if you notice i have deleted the fifth clip because i don't want to bore you by showing the same thing again and again all right let's go to crayon zero double click here and play it so we'll have something like this and if you notice it's actually looking pretty smooth but you can make it even more better by adding the rest number in between each clip so let's do this so for that what we're going to do is simply move the playback head in between this first clip then move to this top clip section and here you will see this effects icon click to open it then expand this toolbox and go to this effects section and from there click on this adjustment clip and drag it to the timeline place it where your playback head is now what we're going to do is move 10 frame backwards from our current frame so currently we're at frame 46 so if we move 10 frame backwards it will be frame 36 okay now click on this adjustment clip and drag it like this then what we're going to do is go here and from there we're going to move 10 frames forward so it will be frame 56 so let's go there simply press ctrl plus b to cut the adjustment clip now select the right side of it then press backspace to delete it now place the playback head in between these two clips and click on this adjustment clip and drag it like this if you see 0 0 that means you are at the correct frame now what we're going to do is click on this fusion page icon to open it okay now for this one we need to add the directional blur so click on this media one node and then press ctrl plus space and search for directional blur press enter to add it then add frame 10 go to inspector and add a keyframe for the length and what we're going to do is double click on this length box and change the value to 0.8 click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this okay now go to frame 0 and double click on this length box and change it to 0 click here once to apply the changes and now go to end of your composition double click on this length box and change the value to 0 as well click here once to apply the changes and we have something like this okay now click on the zoom to fit icon then select the keyframes then press s on your keyboard now take this left handle and drag it like this and take this right handle and drag it like this now just open the edit page and you just have to copy paste it so press alt then click on this adjustment clip and drag upwards to make a copy now click here and drag it here so let's keep it around here and move the playback head and let's drag it okay now this transition was upwards so for that we need to open the fusion page and what we're going to do is double click on this angle box and change it to minus 90 click here once to apply the changes and we'll have something like this okay now go to edit page once again and let's click here and make another copy and drag it like this uh, let's go here and try to make it zero now open the fusion page and for this one we are going to release the minus so we click here and delete the minus now let's go to edit page then go to frame zero double click here and play it so now we'll have something like this and if you notice it's actually looking pretty smooth but here's a little bit of problem like if i go stop here and go to this third clip you will see we are getting this weird edges now to fix it we can add another adjustment clip so let's do this click on this effects icon to open it and drag another adjustment clip to the timeline and place it in the beginning of your composition okay let's place it like this and now what we're going to do is go to end and click here and drag it now for this one we'll simply move the playback head on top of it and we'll select this adjustment clip we'll simply go to inspector and increase the zoom little bit just increase it slightly so that we hide these weird edges now if i go to frame zero double click here and play it so now we'll have something like this and if you notice the weird edges has gone and it's actually looking pretty smooth for that sub you create a smooth slight transition inside the three version of davinci resolve if the tutorial was helpful then give it a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch my other videos. I will see you in the next one so see ya.